you're my queen from Boston. Survive, I'm your king from Boston. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is Straight Out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston, and today we're back with episode five of the Jeff Samarja Connected Career Mode. We're getting into the final weeks of Jeff Samarja's regular season. I'm sorry this uh, series hasn't been out in a while, but if you guys know my new upload schedule, I basically post this on Tuesdays and Saturdays. But over the weekend, I was finishing up the Reggie Bush series. I wanted to get that done because I had some extra time to edit down a few extra videos, which is why I wanted to get the Reggie Bush series out of the way. And I also uh, was not able to post this yesterday because I just didn't really have time to do the commentary. I kind of edited it down. I edited it down over the weekend, and uh, it's probably a mistake. I probably should um, try to commentate over the videos close to the time when I edit them. But anyway, uh, we're commentating over this now, and this should be out tomorrow, which will be Wednesday. And then uh, we'll be back to the regular schedule. T and then uh, Thursday will be Titans. Saturday will be Jeff. Sunday will be Titans. Uh, Tuesday will be Jeffs. Thursday will be Titans. You know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then uh, we might switch that up eventually, especially when 2K comes out. We'll definitely be doing some sort of NBA 2K series. I don't know if it's going to be a my player yet or a association. We'll have to see. But either way, we might also be uh, switching up the connected careers around at that point. Uh, it really depends. I'll probably make a channel update or so of some sorts at that point. Probably have a vote between, like, you know, this and the Titans or something like that. We'll see. We'll really get there when we uh, when we get there, so to say. So get into the gameplay here. You can see Jeff gets a nice juke move there. It's going to go down the right field. They'll go down the right sideline, not right field. Unless we're in the O.Co. Coliseum. But I did watch that uh, Raiders and Chargers game last night. And it's pretty funny seeing a baseball field, uh, you know, kind of playing football and stuff. So I've always thought that's interesting, actually. And I think you used to be able to have that option in the old Madden's when you'd create teams, you'd create a stadium, you could actually, like, have that. And I would always do that, because I always thought it was kind of fun and interesting. But anyway, you can see there, it's Farish Jackson gets intercepted. It's going to be returned to the house by Patrick Peterson, who has made a living off of doing that in his rookie season. will probably likely do it in his sophomore season. And here, just a terrible underthrown ball by uh, Tavares Jackson is going to get p picked off again. I think, uh, you know, a couple of these games, he ended up with like four or five, six interceptions. Uh, and I, I will blame some of them on the fact that I call for the ball a lot, but a lot of the time he just makes bad throws. So anyway, 27 to 24, and we end up winning this game. And uh, you can see there, playing on all Madden as always, even though it's uh, not, not, not that, uh, well, I don't know. It's not that difficult. I did apply the sliders, though, at this point in the series, so it is actually a little bit more difficult, and the games are a little bit longer. They're a little bit more realistic, though. They're a lot closer, too, and that's probably contributing to uh, why T-Jack had some extra interceptions, at least more than he used to in these couple games, because I, I believe at this point I apply these sliders. And I could be wrong. I'm not really sure. We'll have to see. I might not have applied them to the playoffs, but anyway, the next episode will be the playoffs. This is weeks 14 through 17 of Samarja's rookie season, so the next episode is going to be the playoffs and the off season. I'll fit the off season in there depending on how far we go. I'm not really sure yet, uh, but if you know we get knocked out in like the first two rounds, I'll probably just include the off season video on that, uh, which I've already recorded. I haven't recorded anything past that. I'm trying to hold off on getting too far ahead, but I'll record some over the weekend and you know get those for videos coming out, uh, you know, in the following week. That's usually what I try to do, is just record on the weekends, and, you know, I, I like to edit when I'm watching a football game or something, so maybe I'll edit a bit on Sunday while I'm watching the Patriots, or if I'm not doing homework then. <laughs> but anyway, school definitely always comes before YouTube, so gotta get that out of the way first. As you can see there, Samarja picks up another catch, and this is a pretty uneventful game. We only got five catches for 85 yards in that, and uh, but we end up winning 30-28 to in beautiful, beautiful Ralph Wilson Stadium. As you can see there, nice parking lot around it. It's always the uh, highlight of the fields. <laughs> Anyway, so get into the next game here against the San Francisco 49ers, second to last game of the year. If you remember the first game against the 49ers, we went into their stadium and got our asses handed to us, partially in thanks to Tavares Jackson, and you can see there, being good old T-Jack, uh, I'm actually thinking about demanding a release after the season, because I got to the offseason, and um, I, what was it, uh, oh yeah, so I got to the offseason, and there's the uh, there's the demand release option. I'm not sure if that was available the first like season, but I didn't really notice it if it was. So I might demand a release, but I'll also say that uh, I advanced the second season and did like one practice just because I was uh, trying to get images for thumbnails and I was just a poorly thrown ball at my Jackson again. Dante Winter with the interception, and I was looking at uh, just you know practices and I realized that uh, Tavares Jackson wasn't the quarterback. Now, I didn't save it at that point, so I'm not sure if that will happen again. Matt Flynn was actually starting, and, you know, Matt Flynn's not that much better, but 
Uh, we, you know, after having a really stellar rookie season that we'll wrap up in this episode, uh, you know, Samarja progressed a, a bit, quite a bit, and he could definitely have that opportunity to start at a lot of other teams. I think he was actually starting in Seattle in his second season, at least in the practice, so. Well, I guess that's practice, so you never know, but. There's another, just like, what is Tavares Jackson doing? Like, you can't blame these on me. I'm not, you know, that's not my fault for calling for the ball. You know, for every five interceptions, I'd say one or two of them are my fault, but to be honest, like, He's just a really bad quarterback. <laughs> I don't really know why the uh, Bills traded for him, but anyway, um, if Tavares Jackson ever watches these videos, I'm gonna I'm gonna laugh because he's probably kick my ass. But anyway, we get the long touchdown here, and it, actually, it was a pretty nice throw by Jackson, and uh, get the nice long touchdown, cut the lead 19 to 14, 340 left in the third quarter, taking the slant route, getting uh, hit pretty hard there, but pick up the catch, pick up the first down, Jackson. Yeah, it's a pretty bad game. <laughs> I was gonna say he's not doing too bad, but it was a pretty bad game. Catching the slant route again, cutting back up the field, Demarius Thomas style, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. This was a huge game by Samarja, I remember. Uh, pretty high scoring fest. Seems like with these sliders, I get a lot of high scoring, you know, really fun games to play, fun games to edit, fun games to watch. So hopefully you guys will uh, enjoy the games a little bit more since I've applied these sliders. I know the uh, the next couple Titans games are really really good. Trust me. Uh, I believe there's a game against the Titans, then a game against the Vikings that I've already recorded. Both were extremely close. Uh, the Texans game is a little bit more high scoring than the Vikings game. I'm not going to spoil any of the outcomes, but it's it's been pretty fun. So, anyway, you can see here Samarji going deep. He's got his man beat. He's going to catch this one and take it to the end zone again for another touchdown. Samarji just had a huge day, as usual. Just, just an absolute beast. But, anyway... Uh, next play, we're going to go for two here to try and cut the lead to three. We get it. Make it 40-37. to 37. And here, he's going to get the new NFL record for receiving yards in a day. 411, I believe that said it with that, or 14. Here we're going on the slant route again. And I don't call these plays. I just click the game flow. And then sometimes if they run the ball in third and 15, I'll, I'll audible. But I don't uh, click these plays. They just, you know, a lot of the time they're pretty easy routes to run like slants or... Uh, curls or something like that. So anyway, anyway, we end up getting the game-winning touchdown. We went 44 to 40. A really fun game to play. I um, can't remember if I live streamed that, but if I did, I imagine it was pretty fun to watch. <laughs> anyway, so we got one more game left in this episode. It's going to be against the dot, dot, dot St. Louis Rams. Final game of the year in rainy Seattle, Washington. Don't, don't they have a retractable roof? Like really? <laughs> I think they do. I'm not really sure. I, could, I don't know. Actually, could be wrong on that one. But they should if they don't. You know, I don't think they do, actually, because I remember it snowed there one time. But, uh, I'm not really sure. I don't know if they do. So much let me know in the comments. Can't really remember. Probably look it up after this video, anyway, after I finish this commentary. But anyway, we catch the touchdown there. Tie the game up at 7. And the Rams actually put up a fight this game. And it's 10 7 year. We really, uh, I don't know. I, I, our, our offense wasn't stellar and our defense wasn't stellar. It was kind of a combination of the Rams showing up and us kind of looking them over at this point. I mean, we were 11 and 4. We kind of locked up our playoff spot. Um, I think if we won this game, we would have an opportunity to have a first round bye. I'm not really sure on that, actually. But, anyway, um, yeah, in fact, if we do win this game, we get a first round bye. And I think if we lose, then we have to play the wild card. But, I don't know, we were just kind of overlooking the Rams. And, um, you know, they, they came out to play. You can see it's 10-7 still. Uh, second quarter here. So, I have applied my sliders at this point because it's on 11-minute quarters. So, uh, but here, Samarja makes the incredible catch. And, uh... Really nice catch by Samarja, something that a lot of, you know, other wide receiving types don't have the opportunity to make. Just because, you know, possession wide receivers have a little bit better catch ratings, I th I'm pretty sure. A little bit better catch ratings, a little bit better, you know, kind of catch and traffic ratings. I think red is on targets probably have the highest catch and traffic. Um, can't really remember too many of the other ones. But I know speed, I, I think if I, if I redid this and uh, made it a little bit re less realistic. I would make Samarja a speed wide receiver just because it's so easy to be a speed wide receiver. You can just blow by everybody. And um, especially if you do that little trick where if you audible, like nine times out of ten, they will come up and press you. So you can audible to a deep route. If you're a speed wide receiver, you're gone. It's like really easy. And, you, you know, I can even do it with Jeff. At this point, I've got to speed up to like an 88. So, I mean, I think it's 87 or 88 at this point. But anyway, a uh, pretty bad throw there by Jackson. Just completely overthrew me, and Janoris Jenkins picks up the interception. Janoris Jenkins out of... I'm not going to try and remember it, but I know he originally uh, was, was recruited to f uh, Florida. And then I did transfer to a Division two school or something like that because of... I don't know, I'm sure he got kicked off the team or something. But anyway, running more slant routes here just because that's what the uh, they want to call, and they know it's working, so maybe 
Maybe Bad was understanding that the slant routes were just working, and they kept calling him. And here we make the incredible catch in traffic, get absolutely destroyed, but still able to hang on. We're trying to get a touchdown here. Nine and a half minutes left in the fourth, and Jeff Samard just picks up just what the Seahawks need. He's going to go all the way in the end zone for a touchdown, and the Titans are an extra point away from tying up this. Not the Titans. Wow, the Seahawks are an extra point away from tying this ball game up. And here's Samarja coming over the middle, makes the catch again. At this point, it's 31-28, to as you can see. We need a field goal to tie. Touchdown to win. First round by on the line. Minute 45 left. Minute 30 now, second and 10 ball on the 31. Samarja going deep. He's got it. He's going to go into the end zone for a touchdown. And the Seahawks take the lead, 35-31. to But now... Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> As you can see, we end up winning the game 35 31. It's pretty much going to wrap up this video. I thought there was another drive left, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Please thumbs up the video in, if you did, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm out.